Hello, welcome back to today's first video. We're going to look at the ECM 30 day model for the UK and for Europe, too, for today's first video. This can take us well into July. So, we're going to look at uh, temperature and precipitation anomalies for uh, Europe and for the UK um, in the next four weeks. We can't show you mean sea level pressure or 500 millibar heights, uh, but you get a rough idea uh, what the pattern is going to be from the temperature and precipitation anomaly. So, that's what we're doing for update. Uh, for video number one, we'll be back, of course, later on this afternoon with your regular week to 10 day uh, video update. That'll be on the homepage, of course. Um, the charts coming from the Hungarian Met Up, so big thanks to them for supplying us uh, with these charts. Right, so uh, this is how the temperature anomaly is looking for week one. It's week uh, 26 for the year, it's week one for our forecast period. It's taking us from the 24th through to the 30th of June. You see, very hot week coming up across many western parts of Europe. So the core of the heat is kind of like from northern Spain through most of France and then going up into Germany where we are 6 to 10 degrees uh, above average. So really, really hot in the west and the southwest of Europe. That heat does extend to the UK and Ireland to some degree but modified. So we're kind of like uh, 3 to 6 degrees above average in uh, the far uh, northwest of uh, Europe as well. So um, actually one to three degrees in the far northwest of Europe uh, and then kind of like northern France just there and much of the low countries, those areas are three to six degrees above average. It is generally a warm and average seam across many parts of uh, Europe, even extending out to the eastern side of uh, Europe. It's uh, warm and average. Just this far northeastern corner from uh, the north of uh, Scandinavia going down into the Baltic Sea area, many to west of Russia. Those areas are colder than average. Core of the uh, cold and average temperature anomalies up here are uh, around three to six degrees below average. So quite substantially below average in the very, very far north of Europe. But most places are uh, above average with temperatures this week. Uh, as far as Mediterranean is concerned, well, nearly all areas coming out warmer than average, particularly hot across Spain, of course, but also many parts of the central basin of the Mediterranean much warmer than average. It is a little bit cooler over towards Portugal, seemingly, and it's not quite as warm down towards Greece and Turkey, but still generally uh, above average there. Precipitation anomalies in the week ahead, going from the 24th to the 30th of June, look like this. Most central parts of Europe are drier than average. That's because we've got a big area of high pressure sitting across much of central and northern Europe as well. Look, scrawny the med, most parts of the Mediterranean coming out a little bit drier than average, as far southeast and part of the med, perhaps a little bit more showery, and also parts of Portugal. But overall, it's drier than average seen through most of the med. Uh, Scandinavia also looking largely drier than average coming into the UK. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got uh, drier than average conditions on the western side of uh, Scotland, England, Wales, and also most of Ireland coming out drier than average. It's a little bit wetter than average though, over on the eastern side. That's probably down to uh, the current uh, heavy rain that we've got uh, we've had overnight and through the course of today. I suspect actually the anomaly for much of this week will be drier than average through most parts of the UK. So overall, it's a fairly dry scene coming up across much of Europe under an area of high pressure. That high pressure, of course, was producing the heat wave in those western and southwestern parts. This is how things look for week two, week 27th of the year. This is the 1st to the 7th of July. So the first week of July is looking pretty cool, actually, across the north of Europe. You see that uh, those parts of Scandinavia, for example, coming out uh, cooler than average. Also cooler than average uh, going down into the northeast of Europe as well. It's cooler for the UK and Ireland. We're going closer to average as our southwest. So it's a bit warmer than average, but most places kind of like average to possibly a little bit on the cooler than average side. 
Uh, then it's quite warm in this southern southwestern parts of again from Spain, Portugal up to France, uh, into southern parts of Germany, Italy, and many parts of the uh, central bowl of the Mediterranean actually warmer than average temperature. Now, it's not as intensely hot as it is this week, but still above average with temperature anomalies. This far eastern part of Europe, kind of like uh, from the Adriatic over towards the Black Sea, uh, gets progressively cooler uh, the further east that you happen to be going. It looks like dominated by high pressure across much of but Europe uh, through the course of this uh, first week of July, 1st of the 7th. So, again, most places are coming out drier than average. You'll notice the drier than average uh, precipitation on is perhaps shifting a little bit more towards the western, northwestern side of Europe. That's possibly showing a uh, repositioning of the ridge. So instead of in week one, the ridge being centred around there and pulling up those very hot winds as we have in week one, in week two, we probably centre the ridge somewhere uh, around here. And so that means that the jet stream does something a little bit like that. It allows northern parts of Europe to turn uh, cooler. But it keeps many parts of uh, Europe under, under anti-cyclonic conditions. So it does look pretty dry through this first week of July. Ireland and UK driving average right way over towards Germany and Poland. Many places coming out driving average. Yeah, down in Mediterranean, large on the driving average side, sort of average to driving average, uh, really. The far north of Scandinavia looks a little bit wetter, probably more more influence from the jet stream, which is probably doing something a little bit like that. But overall, a pretty dry week coming up there for the first week of July. Into uh, week two, which is uh, into week three, I should say, which is the 8th to the 14th of July, week 28 for the year. Again, it's a largely warmer than average scene across most parts of Europe. So it does look like we're shifting into a warmer phase for this summer. So uh, again, we see France, for example, much of Spain, Germany, low countries, Poland, and then go down into the Mediterranean. All areas sort of warmer than average by around uh, one to three degrees above normal. Go north to Scandinavia, it's average to warm than average. UK and Ireland again close to average or a little bit uh, above. So uh, you really have to go down to Portugal where it's a bit cooler than average there and then over towards west of Russia where it's a bit cooler than average there too to find below average temperatures overall quite a warm scene uh, there for the second week of July. Precipitation wise it's also a little bit more unsettled in the far west. So Ireland, many parts of the UK, down to France, um, forecast to be slightly above average with precipitation. So this is possibly a more unsettled week. Drive an average for Scandinavia. I mean, most other places, the signal is becoming very, very weak. So we could be seeing the high pressure shifting more up towards Scandinavia, perhaps in this week, with low pressure tending to uh, move up from the south and the southwest, perhaps, bringing wetter conditions into the far west of Europe, and the drier conditions are shifting that little bit uh, further north. Most other places just have very weak precipitation anomalies, as the signal, of course, weakens the further out we go. And then we go through to week four, uh, which is uh, week 29 for the year, is taking us from the 15th uh, through to the 21st of July, so the third week of July, if you like. And again, it's looking uh, pretty warm, really, across many parts of Europe, particularly these central areas, warmer than average. But kind of like most places are either average or a little bit above average with their temperature anomaly. So this is quite a warm July being forecast, I think, from the ECMWF uh, model today. Spain and Portugal looks a little bit cooler, perhaps. Uh, most of Mediterranean, though, still coming out warmer than average. The southeast of Med also uh, warmer than average for the UK and for Ireland. So we're average to a bit above average. We're one of the cooler places in Europe, actually, but still a little bit above average with uh, temperatures. Uh, precipitation anomaly is finally. And uh, the scene will very, very weak now, as it always is, by the time we get through to week four. So uh, it possibly still looks a little bit dry down in the very far north of Scandinavia. Uh, other than that, it's not really enough of a signal to go on there. Maybe a bit dry than average through the Med. Perhaps hinting at being a little bit wet and average close to the UK and Ireland. But really, the signals are too weak to... Um, have have much of a uh, be able to come up much of a forecast uh, for that. So I think we leave that alone. So it does look like it's going to be a relatively warm July uh, actually across many parts of Europe. Certainly the first 
uh, the first half of the month shaping up to be relatively warm. We're starting off really, really hot at the moment across France, Germany, uh, those sort of areas. The intensity of heat will moderate as we go um, through the next uh, few weeks. But it generally looks like it's staying pretty warm. And uh, precipitation-wise, so it's varying from area to area and week to week. Um, so maybe a little bit on the mixed and changeable side at times, especially so, I suppose, in Western Europe. But overall, nothing too dramatic precipitation-wise. It's mainly the seen to be warmer than average, I think, but it's quite clear in uh, the next four weeks. Right, so we'll be up later on with your week's 10-day video update. That's going to be up on the homepage uh, later on this afternoon. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.